Saltwater intrusion threatens New Orleans' water supply New Orleans is facing a severe threat to its water supply as saltwater intrusion from the Gulf of Mexico could render the city's water undrinkable for an extended period, according to projections by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The worst of the intrusion is expected in late October and could persist until at least January. Colin Arnold, New Orleans Homeland Security Chief, indicated that the saltwater intrusion crisis may continue into the new year, potentially affecting the city's water supply for up to three months. This crisis stems from a shortfall in the flow of fresh water down the Mississippi River, resulting from prolonged drought conditions in Louisiana and the broader Mississippi River Valley. Saltwater intrusion has already impacted Plaque Mines Parish, with other parishes, including St. Bernard Parish, Jefferson Parish, and Orleans Parish, expected to be affected in the coming month. Typically, the volume of water in the Mississippi River is sufficient to prevent saltwater from advancing upstream beyond head of passes into the river, but low river flow levels have allowed saltwater to encroach further <laughs> The intrusion of salt water into the Mississippi River is a natural periodic occurrence that can transpire when the river's flow falls below a certain level, causing salt water to move upstream from the Gulf of Mexico. To mitigate the crisis, the Army Corps of Engineers has constructed an underwater barrier sill to create an artificial basin, although the intrusion recently surpassed the sill's existing elevation. Additional efforts include the deployment of reverse osmosis water purification units to remove salt from the water, plans to distribute fresh water via barges, and proposals for constructing a freshwater pipeline estimated to cost between $100 million and $250 million. New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell emphasized the importance of staying informed and remaining calm while monitoring the situation closely. President Joe Biden declared an emergency in Louisiana in response to the saltwater intrusion, authorizing federal agencies to coordinate disaster relief efforts aimed at alleviating the hardship caused by the emergency. As the situation evolves, further actions and mitigation measures will be considered to safeguard the city's water supply. The saltwater intrusion poses health risks, particularly for individuals with kidney disease, high blood pressure, those on low-sodium diets, dialysis patients, infants, and pregnant women. Drinking salt water has been associated with cardiovascular diseases, diarrhea, and abdominal pain, according to the Louisiana Department of Health. Efforts to address the crisis and protect the water supply are underway, but New Orleans residents are advised to stay informed and rely on credible sources for updates during this event. Water supplies have been in high demand, with residents purchasing bottled water to prepare for potential disruptions. The city continues to work closely with local, state, and federal agencies to tackle the challenges posed by saltwater intrusion. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your support and hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with new content.